Today I'm going to be walking you through how to make the simplest injector that you can make. It's going to use virtual allocate, write process memory, and create remote thread. This is the absolute easiest injector you can make. So, first thing you do is we need to create a project. So let's create a new project. Let us select a console application. Let's call it Simple DLL Injector Tutorial. Once it's loaded up, we need to set a few project properties. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to go to the linker and we're going to set a manifest file and we're going to set it to the UAC execution level as require administrator. This way we don't have to worry about someone running our code, uh, not as administrator and possibly running into issues down the road. There's probably a hundred threads on the forum where people are having problems using write process memory and it's because they're not running as administrator. All right, next thing we need to do is we need to set the, the character code set to multi-byte character set. That's what we're going to be using for this tutorial. We need to uh, include a few headers here. So let's include a windows.h of course and tool help 32 snapshot. And first thing we're going to do is we are going to write our uh, proc ID function. So let's get proc ID and it's going to take a constant char pointer to our process name that we're going to provide. And in this function, it's just going to get the process ID by looping through a snapshot of all the loaded processes. So you've probably seen this before. If you've done the previous tutorials, we're going to run through it real quick. So we're going to create a proc ID. We're going to set it to zero. We're going to create a handle called H snap and that's going to get snapshot from create tool help 32 snapshot. Uh, we're going to pass in th32cs snap process and that's going to get our process list for us and then we are going to see if this is a good snapshot or not and we're going to do that by checking if h snap does not equal invalid uh, handle value and then we are going to create a proc entry and that's going to be process entry 32 proc entry. We are going to do proc entry dot DW size equals size of proc entry. Then an if statement if process 32 first h snap address of proc entry. That is an address of, thank you. I have a new keyboard, I'm still getting used to it. Um, then we're gonna do while loop, okay? Do while process 32 next. Pass in the snapshot and the address of the proc entry. And then so in this while loop, we are going to do uh, if uh, not string compare proc entry dot sc S-Z-E-X-E -E file and proc name. Then we shall uh, proc ID equals proc entry dot th32 process ID. And then we're going to break. Fix a few typos. And then after this, uh, after all of this, we're going to close handle to the snapshot. And then we're going to return the proc ID. And we are missing a bracket. No, we're not missing a bracket. We are missing a semicolon right there because we need to end that while loop. Okay. So get process ID. We pass in the process name. We create a process ID that the whole goal is to get that and return it. Great tool help 32 snapshot is going to create a snapshot of the processes. We're going to make sure the process is not null and that is not invalid handle, which I believe is a negative one is what that is defined as. Now proc entry is going to receive each process entry from the snapshot. We get the first one by calling process 32 first, and then we loop through them by calling process 32 next. So proc entry keeps receiving the new proc entry. Then we're doing a uh, string compare. Now STRI compare, this is a string insensitive compare. So if you can, if you put in the wrong capital letter or something, it'll still find uh, your process. Then in the proc entry is the process ID and we grab it when we find it and we break, we close the handle snapshot and we return. So down to main. Let's do constant char pointer, DLL path, 
equals, and we're just going to put in my path for this, uh, c slash slash user slash me slash desktop slash slash dll dot dll constant char pointer proc name equals csgo dot exe that's what I was testing on for this project then we have a dword proc id of course set it to zero we're gonna do a while loop a uh, while proc id uh, is not found we will just do proc id equals get proc id proc name and then sleep for 30 milliseconds then we're going to do handle h proc equals open process process all access zero and proc id then we're going to check to make sure our process is good if h proc and and h proc does not equal a uh, invalid handle that value hello man this new keyboard is totally messing me up okay okay void pointer location virtual allocation ex we're going to pass in h proc a zero a max path mem comment we're going to or it with mem reserve and we're going to give it a page read write permissions and why isn't this letting us do this we need equal sign hello okay uh write process memory hproc location dll path string length dll path plus one zero then we got handle h thread equals create remote thread pass in hproc again zero zero then we're going to cast to a lp thread start routine and we're going to load in a uh, load library a location zero zero next up if h thread close handle h thread then after that we're going to do if h proc close handle h proc and then we're just going to return zero at the end my visual studio is not formatting correctly i don't know what happened there but i don't like it okay so let's go from the top here so we're defining our process uh, name and our dll path we get our proc ID. We're going to call open process with process all action. All access, we want read and write permissions. And if the process is not null and it's not invalid handle, you should check both uh, just in case. And then we're going to call virtual allocate uh, EX, which is going to allocate memory in an external process. It knows which process via the handle. And how much memory do we need we need max path that's the longest uh length for for a string that represents a path as in this path um mem commit it's going to be real committed uh committed memory and res or reserved memory and we need page read write permissions if we don't need execute permissions because we're not putting our actual dll into memory here we are just um putting in the path name okay and the reason why we need two slashes up here is because it's a character escape. So if there was just one, it would escape the U. So we put one to escape the next character, and then it tells the uh, compiler or whatever that the parser that this is just one slash. Now, yeah, so what we do is we're going to we're going to get a section of memory in the target process and we're going to allocate it and we are going to have page read write permissions and then we're going to write process memory this path into memory 
Now, why are we doing that? We need the path into memory because we're going to create a remote thread in the target process that that remote thread is going to call load library A. And the parameter that we're going to pass to it is location. So location is the address where we just wrote in this path. So it's going to call load library A, which takes one parameter, which is the path to the DLL. So you, this has to be in the target process for that to work. And so that's what we do here. And this little warning here is uh, location can't be zero. So if we want to be perfect, we would do uh, if location and then drop this in here as well. And then that warning will go away. So create remote thread gets our handle LP thread start routine. This is basically uh, like STD call, I believe. Yeah, win API. So it's basically telling it it's a D word return uh, value and then return type and then it's win API, which we all know is just a STD call calling convention. It passes in the location and then in the target process, load library will get called. It'll map it into memory and run it. So once this is done calling, we're basically done. So we're going to close the thread. We're going to close the process handle, and then we're going to return zero. And that's it. So I did notice one little mistake. I need an extra slash right there before desktop. And for this demo, I'm going to use a uh, assault cube. And I have the DLL right here on the desktop. There's the game. Let's run the debugger. Let's restart as administrator, of course. Run it again. What a shit antivirus, huh? All right, let's create an exception. Well, anyways, it did inject. So there it is. We know it works. So that's the simplest injector you can do. If you're looking to learn a bit more about different injection techniques, uh, check out the Guided Hacking Injector. It is open source. You can look at all the different methods that we use. And we we also have the Shellcode Injection Tutorial Series on YouTube. So I think there's four or five videos on different types of shellcode injection techniques. So check those out too. Anyways, hope you enjoyed. Peace.